let's take a solid crystal in the form of a cube. If we look at the crystal very closely, we can see that the solid is made up of constituent particles, which may be an atom or an ion or even a molecule. These constituent particles are assumed to be spherical in shape. The constituent particles are arranged in a regular and repeating pattern. The constituent particles fill up the crystal space and are closely packed in such a manner that a sphere will always touch another sphere nearest to it. But like this we cannot study the geometry of a crystal properly. So we make the spheres little smaller in what is we call the open structure of a crystal. The center of the spheres or in other words the position of the spheres are called lattice points. These lattice points are joined by straight lines. Now there is a smallest portion inside the lattice called the unit cell which when repeated in all directions give us the entire lattice. The unit cell is categorized by number 1 by the edge lengths A, B and C. The edge A, B and C more or less correspond to X, Y and Z axis of the three dimensional coordinate axis. The only difference is that edges may or may not be at right angles to each other whereas in the case of coordinate axis the X, Y and Z axis are at right angles to each other. Number 2 by the axial angles alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha being the angle between edge B and C, beta being the angle between edge A and C and gamma is the angle between edge A and B. Unit cells may be broadly divided under two heads. Number one, primitive unit cells. Primitive unit cells have the constituent particles situated at the corners of a unit cell. Number two, centered unit cells. They contain constituent particles at positions other than corners and may be subdivided into three types. A. Body centered unit cells. They have a constituent particle at the center of the unit cell in addition to the ones at the corners. B. Face centered unit cells. Such unit cells have six constituent particles situated at the centers of six faces of the unit cell in addition to the ones at the corners. C. End centered unit cells. These are unit cells having two constituent particles situated at the centers of two opposite faces in addition to the ones situated at the corners. Seven shapes of unit cells are there. Shape of a unit cell depend on the edge lengths and the axial angles. All the shapes have primitive unit cells. Some shapes come with one or more centered unit cells. Now let's see each of them. Number one, cubic. Here A equal to B equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degrees. Three forms of cubic unit cells are there. Cubic primitive unit cell, cubic body centered unit cell and cubic face centered unit cell. Number two, tetragonal. Here A equal to B which is not equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degrees. Two forms of tetragonal unit cells are there. Tetragonal primitive unit cell, tetragonal body centered unit cell. Number three, orthorhombic. Here A is not equal to B which is not equal to C. But alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degrees. Four forms of orthorhombic unit cells are there orthorhombic primitive unit cell, orthorhombic body centered unit cell, 
orthorhombic face centered unit cell and orthorhombic end centered unit cell number 4 hexagonal here a equal to b but not equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degrees but gamma is equal to 120 degrees now why it is called hexagonal let us see the top view what we see we see a rhombus take two more rhombus like this we get the hexagon this is only available in the primitive form number 5 rhombohedral or trigonal here a equal to b equal to c the axial angles are equal to each other but none of them are equal to a right angle here alpha equal to 120 degrees beta equal to 120 degrees and gamma equal to 120 degrees this is only available in the primitive form number 6 monoclinic the three edges are unequal alpha and gamma are 90 degrees but beta is not equal to 90 degrees this is available in two forms primitive and end centered number 7 triclinic the three edges are unequal as well as the three axial angles are unequal and none of them is a right angle here beta equal to 135 degrees alpha equal to 120 degrees and gamma equal to 150 degrees this is only available in primitive form These 14 forms are collectively known as Bravais lattices.